just received my new magnets much smaller than the old ones but uh, I'm gonna lay them like this and then they fit just perfectly in here so I'm gonna put them all around so we have a much higher frequency maybe less magnetic power but a much higher frequency I'll see what it is First we have a lot of work to do unpacking all these and they're all set the wrong way in the plastic okay place them all around try to get them nice and even put some tape around it that's the part I love all right that's the end result put some tape around it it's not really nice evenly spaced I have one bit of space because otherwise I would get a south north north south so it's well I have to do some concessions We'll see if it gets a little out of balance or something, but I think because there are so many magnets, it won't be much of a problem. Okay, now the test. The wheel's on. It's spinning very fast. It's using only 80, and even it runs at 70 milliamps, but it's over 400 RPMs with both PMAs. Well, I just coils connected. But there's absolutely nothing, no lamp is going on, so the magnet field is not strong enough, or it's changing too fast, but the magnets are uh, too small and changing too fast from north to south. Well, anyway, it doesn't work. Okay change the configuration I made four, four of these small magnets and I made them one north one south one north one south combined just four of them just to see if it is the strength of the magnets that's the problem or that it is the spacing the timing of the magnets so I've got to test this first put some tape around of course see okay put the wheel on four magnets smaller ones and the lamp is just coming on just uh, with two pmh's let's see what the other lamp does four magnets uh, one lamp's on and the other one is also lightly lightly glowing so it's not much power but it's something uh, funny thing is, uh, you have 386 still rising, 80 milliamps can go down to 70, I think. And will still rise 380 or 388. 388 at 70 milliamps. Turning the battery not much but uh, well that's it. Right. Eight magnets. Okay, it's ready. Eight magnets. I'm gonna test them. Right, put the RPMs. 88 so we'll around that is some of the milliamps 92 okay should 
vehicles. Yeah, I see a lamp coming on. Stronger than before. So another improvement. And it doesn't cost me a lot. This is still running really fast. Okay, put the other coil in place. Put that lamp. It's also on. It's not very bright. Actually, not at all. But it's something. And then it's only 70 milliamps. And um, it's falling back a little on 360. 360. That's not fun. Okay. So, I'm going to try the next magnet configuration. Okay. Although the results are a bit better. It's not perfect. Now I can put one magnet between them all and make 16, but I don't believe much in that. So I was thinking of putting just one extra magnet set so that I get pairs of three. And so they become a little bit strong wrong. And the next step I want to do is put one above so that I get a stronger field but I first want to get the spacing right so I'm going to test it with one additional okay just finished the new config eight magnets just a little bigger and they're just a little smaller than the old ones but then I had ten all right, it's up to speed. 70, between 70 and 80 milliamps, and it's running at 390. 390, and I'm going to shift the cars around. one lamp on. That's very good. Also coming on. Uh -oh. can hear. It's dropping its speed. How they open it? Three seven. Three twenty-five. Okay, it's sixty, so we can give it a little more liquid current. It's a bummer. All right, seventy again. Going up and down. Now it's 80 milliamps. 310, 316. It's stable around 314, 80 milliamps. 80 milliamps and two lamps on. A little drag. Okay. I'm going to put the lamps off. Like this. Ok, 
Okay, let's see if it's open. So I'll pin the ring. Going up. 340, 45. Okay, that will probably go up to uh, 370, 380 something. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that. Alright, it's about to speed, it's around 370 with the open coils. I'm going to short them. Alright, both shorted out. And let's see. So 90 milliamps now. 366. Down a little, but can adjust this to 80. Sixty. I'm staying somewhere around 360. So open coil and, and short coil is about the same, but the lamp is still a problem. Okay, you know, put a bit of a mess of my table. Well, I'm going to put. Okay, change the plans. I don't have enough magnets to stack another on top of it. So. I decided since every time I joined one uh, the results were better so why not join one extra and make it one longer so I'll put eight magnets with blocks of four so eight magnets totally so eight times eight magnets should have enough for that all right this is the result Little space between them. Alright, it's running. It's a bit heavier wheel, so nothing connected yet. 80 milliamps input. 3 around 370. Around 370 with nothing connected. So we're gonna connect the lamps. Okay? Put the wheel on the machine. Two lamps are on. It's not running as fast anymore, and it's and it has it uses a little more amperage, so 100 milliamps, and it's uh, 300 RPM. Uh, staying there steady. So we'll try what happens when we sh open them and then short them out. First I'll open, open the one, open the other, press the media. It's actually really interesting to keep it on. That's the charging of the battery. It's a 337. Okay, so it's speeding up. It's using more amperes now. 340. Now we can go down 100 milliamps again. 346. 350. Okay, just gonna wait when it's on speed. Okay, still using 90 milliamps. Around 364. RPM, a little more than 360. 90 milliamps, charging the battery, okay. So it's now opened. Now we're going to short it.